Hey guys, right, this is a very common roadside weed that I haven't been noticing in Kenya and it's called Solanum incarnum or a sodom apple. Um, I asked a local guy what they call it and in uh, Swahili they call it sodom abo if that means anything to you because it's literally all Swahili to me. So I also asked him can you eat these because it looks very much like a tomato plant and it turns out you can't. Um, they are quite poisonous to both humans and animals. Um, yeah, because if you look, this is why I thought you might be able to eat them. They've got like a, a flower that looks a bit like a tomato flower. In fact, there's a better one over here. You see, right? So it looks like a tomato flower and I knew it was in that kind of family. Um, they've got alternate leaves, which are quite thick and downy. They're a little bit thicker than a sage leaf, I'd say, but they've got the same kind of texture. And then the fruits on them, well, they start off green with a bit of a stripe on them. And then they turn yellow, like here. And then the final stage is they go black. No, I did see a black one. Where is it, man? Right, here we go. That's that one. Oh, move. That one there is on the turn. That's going to go black. And yeah, nightshade family, Solanum. So they are poisonous, you can't eat them, unfortunately, because I thought I'd be in for some nice little treats there. Um, they're mainly found in Eastern Africa, so like Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania. I believe they're also popping up in Australia. Uh, if there's any Australian subscribers of mine and new CVs going around, please leave a comment, let me know. Um, yeah, that's about it. They, they tend to pop up by roadsides, uh, ground that's been disturbed or ground that's been quite overgrazed. So if you look at the grass here, um, there are, it's quite a, well I wouldn't say a rural area, but they, they live the rural lifestyle. So there's, there's people that bring sheep and goats on leads for a walk up and down these grass verges next to the road. And they, uh, they, they graze them on the grass, so it is quite overgrazed, which, it, which, which would explain why this plant's popping up in the kind of places I'm seeing it. So there you go, Solanum Incarnum. Please subscribe for more free gardening related videos.